Now, former Deputy President Rigathi Gashagwa has expressed gratitude to his supporters for maintaining peace after his ouster that he maintains was politically instigated. Speaking today during the burial ceremony of Lucy Nganga, the wife of prominent businessman Francis Nganga, the former DP, called on Kenya Kwanza government to ensure all health facilities adhere to the laid down regulations that will help curb cases of Kenyan losing lives. Samia Dika with a report. Barely days after his successor was sworn in. You know what has happened to us in leaving office? At least the positive thing is that now we have enough time for friends like Nganga. <laughs> in such a humorous manner, former Deputy President Rigathi Gashagwa has yet again castigated his oster, which he says was politically instigated. Some of us have gotten in a lot of trouble because of being truthful. But I want to tell you, even, even the Bible says, the truth shall set you free. The former DP, however, praised residents of the Mount Kenya region and his supporters for displaying maturity by accepting the outcome of events that surrounded his removal from office. Our community is very unique and many people are shocked. We expected people to go to the streets, lighting bonfires, destroying the vehicles, shouting. No, that is not who we are. These people don't know us well. <laughs> as when we feel offended, we feel bad, we keep quiet. Sindio? Mutaendelea kunyamaza? Keep quiet. Say nothing. The former second in command further called on Kenyans to exercise caution while seeking medical services to avoid putting their lives at risk. We want to call on our authorities of regulation of medical facilities to protect the people of Kenya from being driven into the wrong direction. While pronouncing his support for the former DP, former Nairobi County Governor Mike Sonko called on Gashago to follow the due process in seeking justice. Yes, yako iko high court of Kenya. Bado inalelea kusikizwa. Wakikutupa nje bado utaenda appeal court of appeal. Hiyo ni miaka ingine tatu. Wakikutupa nje bado utaenda Supreme Court. Hiyo ni miaka ingine tano. 2027 itakupata hapo. Kwa hiyo utakuwa kwa pale utashinda kama na mtu yote ule. The former Nairobi County boss was among the growing number of prominent leaders who have vowed to ensure that the Omnicare Medical Limited, also known as Body by Design, will stay closed up until the family of the late Lucy Wamboi Nganga gets justice. Hatuwezi nyamaza. Jana ilikuwa tu wabebe wenye hospitali, madaktari waende kamiti. Lakini Nganga huyu roho yake ni kubwa sana. Akasema tafadhali songo atutaki drama tuzike dada yetu kwanza tuendelee na hiyo mambo mengine. Omnicare Medical Services, a Lavington based clinic, is implicated in the death of Lucy Wamboi after a botched cosmetic surgery with the Ministry of Health stating that the facility was operating below the required medical standards. For Newswatch, I'm Sami Adika.